So this island is Devil's Island. Uninhabited. The jungle has completely reclaimed the island. Growing right over the structures which were the buildings they were chained up in. This island here is the Royal Island. It is inhabited. It's a small hotel on the island. This is the one we will get a, be getting off at and touring. And this one we're seeing right here, just coming into the picture, is uh, Joseph's Island. Hard to imagine ever being able to escape off of that far island on the right. It's out in the middle of the ocean. Currents are very strong. This is Royal Island, and it'll be the island we'll tender into to visit the remains of the buildings of the penal colony. So we've arrived at uh, Royal Island, part of the three islands that make up uh, the Salvation Islands and Devil's Island. <laughs> well, here's a monkey coming to visit us. The penal colony started in 1853 by the government of Napoleon III. You might uh, well ask why 1853? Well, the reason being is that they abolished slavery at that time. Prior to that, all the the people that were in the sentenced to hard time uh, were put on the galleys as slaves and they rowed the boats. After that they abolished slavery and sent them to this penal colony. And they, this colony was not for murderers, etc. It was for very light sentences, four years for example. And uh, it lasted a hundred years, and the final uh, <coughs> people were closed out in 1953. 80,000 uh, prisoners came through Devil's Island. Very few went back to France. <laughs> and see, these are some of the uh, inmates <laughs> of the penal colony. <laughs> They're uh, suffering from a cruel and unusual punishment, having to walk up these stairs. I think it'll be good. It's a long and winding road we wind. So the buildings here are the residences of the guards on the, the island here. Well, this building here originally was the uh, house of the uh, chief medical officer. But today, it's the uh, police post, the Poste d'Ile Gendarmerie. So this is the church of the penal colony. So the inside of the church. Now well, there's not much left of this building and I don't know what it was, but it was something of significance. So there was no sign on this building uh, that I was just filming, but the picture shows it. It's the uh, house of the uh, commandant or warden. This structure here is the uh, hospital or in uh, infirmary. That's the infirmary and the lighthouse. This is the uh, what is known as the children's cemetery. Not all the, the guards were allowed to bring their uh, families with them, and a lot of them did pass away on the island here. 
All the inmates were buried at sea. Shark infested waters. But these were uh, the guards and the children of the guards. A lot of them suffered uh, because of the uh, climate. Very humid today in the mid 80s. Uh, Emilienne Segrand, uh, deceased on the 10th of March, 1906, at the age of 27 months. <laughs> Regrets. This one is 1903, and that one is 1880. Well, this is uh, solitary confinement. As if the water, the, the island and the water surrounding it wasn't enough of a deterrent. There's no way you're going to escape from there, not with those bars. So the guards quarters on the island here. So these are the uh, cells of the uh, regular prisoners. Not a very large cell, that's for sure. So you can see in this cell they still have the uh, uh, items tacked into the wall where they were shackled to. Well in French that uh, would translate to uh, solitary confinement cells. This is the area where Dreyfus was held in solitary confinement for most of his time here on the island. Not very nice. So solitary confinement wasn't very nice. The, there was a door on here and of course no light, no window. So the only light ones like uh, Dreyfus got, because the cell itself on this side has no windows, would have a door on it, very little opening as you saw. But there'd be light coming through here, which would come from the opening up at the top. And that's all the light they would get. Here's another prisoner. Okay, shut the door. We're going <laughs> on the ship. <laughs> well, that's an iguana. They're all over the island here. So this is an agute. Having his lunch. So this is Devil's Island, as seen from the terrace of the hotel here on Royal Island. 